Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in KBPY 2019 essay part 1 physics paper. The question is from the topic of TIR. Although a simple question, but we have to do this slightly carefully because there is one aspect where some of the students might have gone wrong. So let's see what's happening over here. I'll be drawing the data in the next slide because we have more space over here. So there's an, there's an isocellus prism which has an apex angle 120 degrees. So this is P, this is Q and this is R. This angle is 120 degrees. Okay, the prism is kept in air. There are four rays, ray 1, 2, 3, 4. All the ray enter the side PQ of the prism normally. Okay, that means at an angle of 90 degree. So that definitely they are going to go without any deviation. Now, they are going to strike the, uh, so first let me tell you the data. The refractive indices of the four rays are 1.85, 1.95, 2.05 and 2.15. That means the refractive indices of four rays are different. For the first rate is 1.85, for the second rate is 1.95, for the third rate is 2.05 and the fourth rate is 2.15. We have to find that which ray amongst the given 1, 2, 3, 4 will, convert, will uh, emerge from the face QR. That means which of the rays will be coming from QR, will, will come out from the face QR. Okay, this is what we have to find. Now, first thing is to notice that any ray that, uh, or they, like all the rays, 1, 2, 3, 4, all of them are going to strike the face PR first. They are not going to strike the face QR. Why is this so? Because you can see this angle is 90 and this angle is 120. Okay, so if you draw these two lines, it would, it would look somewhat like that. So, so basically, if you draw this line or this ray, so this is going to go like this. Okay, and this, uh, side will be like this okay so basically you can see because the angle is 120 and 90 so it is greater than 180 degree so these two summation of these two angles is greater than 180 degree hence we can say that these two lines will be going away from each other hence this these two rights these two lines cannot intersect uh, this side ye dono line jo hai pq ke right side pe intersect nahi kar sakte these two lines will intersect somewhere over here if agar hum pq ke is taraf project matlab isko extend kar de okay so that means ye jo ray aayegi ye pr pe strike karegi correct now this angle is 90 this angle is also 90 okay isocellus prism hai so this angle is 30 okay and this is 60 so this is 30 right that means all the rays are going to strike the face pr at an angle of 30 degree theek hai are you clear till here so sari rays 30 degree pe strike karne wali hai i hope you understood theek hai now, if all the rays are going to strike at 30, so that means Jin rays ka critical angle 30 se chota hai. Okay, Jin rays ka critical angle 30 se chota hai. Un rays ka to yaha pe TIR ho jayega. So, those rays which have got critical angle less than 30 will suffer TIR over here. And those rays which have got critical angle more than 30, unka yaha pe refraction ho jayega. Right? So, ab dekhte hai, kaun si rays ka critical angle 30 se chota hai. So first ray ka critical angle kitna hoga? Sine inverse 1 upon 1.85. This is theta 1. Theta 1 means critical angle of ray 1. Hai? Second ray ka critical angle 1 upon 1.95. Theek hai? So ye theta 2 ho critical angle of ray 2. Sine inverse of 1 upon 2.05. Theek hai? This is theta 3. And similarly sine inverse of 1 upon 2.15. This is theta 4. So critical angle of first and second ray, you can see the critical sine inverse uh, 30, mean, 30 degree kitna hota hai, sine inverse half, 30 degree hota hai, sine inverse half. So definitely theta 1 and theta 2 are greater than 30 degrees. So if theta 1 and theta 2 30 degrees se bade hai, theek hai? So definitely jo first or second ray ka critical angle hai, wo 30 degrees se bada hai. So first or second ray will not suffer TIR, first and second ray is going to come out. Okay, first and second is going to come out at different angles. Okay, of course. Uh, whereas third and fourth ray, third and fourth ray ka critical angle uh, third degree se chota hai. Okay, so we can say that third and fourth ray ka angle of incidence critical angle se bada ho gaya. Therefore, third and fourth ray is going to come uh, reflect. Yaha pe TIR ho jayega. Hence, this angle will also be 30. Na na, ab ye 90 hai. Okay, ye 60 ho gaya. Okay, ye 120 hai. So definitely ये वाली जो ray यहाँ पे reflect होएगी, ये normal incidence यहाँ पे हो जाएगा, because ये 90 है, ये 60 है, ये 120 है, तो ये angle भी 90 होगा. That means these two rays, third and fourth, are going to 
uh, again strike normally and hence they are going to come out definitely therefore trade third and fourth are going to come out of the phase qr so with three and fourth ye wali re, re, yahan qr se bahar aa so i hope you would have understood the solution so a crit, uh, tricky point over here was to realize that ye jo re enter kar rahi hain ye qr phase pe strike nahi karengi pehle they are going to strike at the phase pr first this was a tricky point so i hope you would have understood that's it thank you